the Voyager probes changed how we explore the cosmos. Even after 45 years, their legacy in space, science stays unmatched. Despite old technology, these probes continue their epic journey. Their memory is small, but they still send data across vast space. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 began their missions in 1977. They were designed to explore the outer planets of our solar system. Voyager 1 launched from Florida with a Titan 3E rocket. It left Earth on September 5th, traveling into the cosmos. Voyager 2 followed on August 20th, only 13 days earlier. Its mission began with a path toward Jupiter and Saturn. They were both built to study moons, rings and space weather. Over time, they flew past their goals into interstellar space. Their achievements broke every distance record ever made. They are now farther from Earth than any object we've built. These spacecraft gave us fresh knowledge of the deep galaxy. They escaped the pull of the sun, drifting into unknown territory. Data from Voyager 1 recently confused scientists. Its readings didn't match the control systems we understand. That error triggered new questions about exploration methods. Still, their instruments work with stunning precision despite limits. One major gift of the probes was studying Jupiter's moons. The geology of Io and Europa stunned the space community. They found volcanic heat beneath ice, rewriting older theories. This made scientists rethink life and what's possible in space environments. Voyager 2 did something no other craft had done before. It reached Uranus in 1986, opening a new window into the sky. In 1989, it also reached Neptune, revealing storms and winds. Triton, Neptune's moon, was hiding ice volcanoes all along. This moon shocked experts with its wind speeds and frozen gas. The images showed a world colder than any place on Earth. The surface temperatures dropped to minus 235 degrees Celsius, freezing nitrogen. They also mapped Uranus moons, never seen up close before. Every pass revealed a new feature or magnetic field. This exploration deepened our sense of what ice giants contain. Even with low power, they still relay signals across the void. To save energy, NASA turned off heaters and other components. They planned carefully so Voyager 2 can keep going till at least 2030. That decision means more data from the distant cosmos. The mission's end will be a bittersweet point in science history. For now, the probes still whisper from the edges of our solar system. The people behind these probes, engineers, scientists, and techs, made it all possible. They didn't just build machines, they wrote a part of humanity's story. Their careful work kept the probes alive in the cold of space. Every bite they return helps future researchers study the universe. The data will help students and scientists for generations to come. These missions showed that determination matters in discovery. What they found changed our views of planets, moons, and the cosmic void. Jupiter's volcanoes were one massive surprise early in the mission. They saw active lava flows on Io, a moon once thought dead. This made Io the most volcanically active body in the solar system. Europa, another moon, showed signs of an ocean under its ice. That sparked new dreams of finding alien life someday. Enceladus, a moon of Saturn, showed signs of geysers erupting. These geysers contained water and gas, hinting at subsurface oceans. This inspired more missions to check these mysterious moons. Every new photo or wave scan from the probes brings more insight. They taught us about storms, magnetic fields, and space radiation. 
Voyager 2 also found 10 new moons around Uranus. It showed that Miranda, one of them, has unusual surface features. That moon alone sparked more debate among astronomers. As the probes moved further, they entered the heliopause. That's the edge where the solar wind stops, and the galaxy begins. Beyond it lies the interstellar medium, filled with cosmic rays. They saw a surprise, spike in radiation that challenged theories. Nobody expected such intense plasma waves and energy flows. They mapped the magnetic fields past our sun's reach. These readings helped shape how we think about galactic space. That insight also shaped plans for new spacecraft to go even further. The mission's endurance proved the value of long-term exploration. Despite budget limits, these probes keep communicating with Earth. The tiny radio signals they send come from billions of miles away. We still hear their whispers across the cosmic darkness. That's only possible because of strong engineering and design. They have survived temperature extremes, dust, and radiation for decades. They weren't built for this long, yet they keep running. Their nuclear batteries outlived their predicted lifespans. They send back everything through a high-gain antenna. Those bits of data are the last light from far-flung worlds. Inside both probes is the golden record, humanity's message in a bottle. As Voyager 2 drifted farther into the solar system, it kept recording amazing scenes. Every close pass brought new surprises in the form of images and signals. It passed by Neptune and caught the first clear look at the great dark spot. This massive storm churned through the planet's atmosphere like a whirlwind. The storm looked similar to Jupiter's red spot, but more mysterious in color. The planet's deep, blue glow was captured in sharp, unforgettable detail. Six new moons were spotted circling Neptune, hidden until then in the shadows. Faint rings were also found, circling the planet with barely visible dust. These thin bands were once thought impossible to detect from that distance. But the Voyager cameras picked them up through careful scanning. As it moved on, Voyager 1 continued into the edge of the heliopause. This boundary marks where the solar wind can no longer push back into stellar forces. Beyond it lies a realm filled with strange plasma and high-speed cosmic rays. The environment past the heliopause was more violent than expected. Levels of radiation were much higher than models had predicted. The spacecraft instruments showed intense magnetic flux and wave activity. These findings forced scientists to revise how they view the galactic edge. The probes revealed that interstellar space isn't empty, it's alive with energy. They mapped it using tools built nearly half a century ago. This feat showed the strength of human design and long-term vision. Though tiny in size, each probe carried priceless sensors and tools. These machines taught us more than any classroom or simulation ever could. Each signal from deep space gave us a glimpse into the unknown cosmos. As each day passed, the signals grew weaker, but still came through. NASA's Deep Space Network listened carefully for every faint message. Those signals passed through billions of miles, bouncing through deep vacuum. The patience and precision behind every update were incredible. It took teamwork across the globe to keep this communication alive. Even as power faded, the probes kept returning golden data streams. They carried info on magnetic fields, solar wind, and alien radiation. One moment of wonder was when they first crossed into true interstellar space. This landmark meant that human technology had finally breached the solar wall. We were no longer just visitors in our own system, but explorers of the galaxy. This crossing brought emotion, and awe to everyone involved in the mission. 
and all of it came from devices powered by slow-burning nuclear energy. These energy units, known as RTGs, glowed faintly with plutonium. They gave just enough power to keep the craft warm and running through the cold void. Even now, the onboard heaters are turned off to save every last bit of power. The temperature in the spacecraft is nearly freezing, yet the systems function. That resilience comes from smart design and well-tested engineering. Their main antennas still aim precisely back toward Earth. That level of precision across such great distances is almost unbelievable. Even small errors in trajectory would cause signals to miss by light years. But the probes keep on course, thanks to steady navigation systems. These probes remind us how far we've come in understanding the universe. They've inspired scientists to think about new missions beyond the solar limit. Ideas for traveling to nearby stars are built on Voyager's blueprint. Probes powered by light sails or fast pulse propulsion could follow. But none of that would exist without the Voyager's proven roadmap. Their contributions go far beyond the scientific, they touch on culture. The golden record is still floating out there with messages in 55 languages. There are songs, greetings, sounds of nature, and even a baby's first cry. Images show daily life wildlife, and human technology on Earth. It's the most distant time capsule ever launched by human hands. This golden disc was the brainchild of Carl Sagan and his team. It reflects hope, unity, and curiosity about our place in the stars. They dreamed that someone or something might find it one day and say, hello. We may never know if that will happen, but the gesture was historic. It's one of the most poetic acts in all of science history. Back on Earth, kids study the Voyager missions in schools and museums. They draw pictures of planets and write essays on the Voyager legacy. The story has appeared in books, films, documentaries, and songs. These probes turned into symbols of what's possible with passion and effort. Every mission since has learned something from Voyager's experience. The Cassini mission, the Juno probe, and the Mars rovers owe something to Voyager. Future dreams like human Mars travel began with the curiosity sparked by these spacecraft. Even now, some scientists believe the Voyagers might reach another star system. Not in decades, but in tens of thousands of years, they'll drift silently through space. In that time, Earth will change, nations will rise and fall, and technology will evolve. But those two tiny crafts will still be floating, silent observers in the galaxy. If anything finds them, those machines will carry the voice of Earth. That thought alone gives meaning to their endless voyage. A species that wanted to know more about the universe it lives in. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.